What's good guys, it's Seth with Ascent22.com. So a subscriber made me aware that UFO is now trading on KuCoin. So in this video, let's look at UFO and my short term and medium term price targets for UFO. As a reminder, I am only sharing my opinions. So nothing in here should be considered as financial advice. Now with that out of the way, let's kick this off by looking at UFO from the lower time frame to the higher time frame. Uh, so starting with the 4 hour chart, we see that UFO is currently trading at 0 0.00002741. That is a lot of zeros. So moving forward, I will not mention the first four zeros. I will ignore the first four zeros and I will only mention the non-zero numbers. So UFO is currently trading at 2741 and uh, it is also trading in this head and shoulder pattern. So that is the left shoulder right there. That is the head and that is the right shoulder. And now uh, this head and shoulder pattern is usually a bearish pattern and uh, it normally predicts that price will break below the neckline. And the neckline in this situation is sitting at the 20 price line, right? So we do not want UFO breaking below 20. If UFO breaks below 20, then UFO will turn very bearish and the price target for this head and shoulder pattern is very low for UFO. Uh, we also see that Bitcoin is also breaking out and pushing towards 53K. So if Bitcoin is able to maintain that bullish move and push towards 53K, then I believe UFO will get enough time and enough momentum to also break out of this pattern and escape this head and shoulder pattern. And uh, the price line that you uh, you want to watch for UFO to turn bullish is at the 3H2 Fibonacci retracement level at about at 0 0.00033. So that 33 uh, price line, we see that it forms the edge of this VPVR zone over here, right? The VPVR zone that sits in between 19 and 33. We see that a lot of UFO were traded in this zone. So that price line, that resistance line over here, we see that 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 also formed the, the shoulder for this head and shoulder pattern. So we definitely want UFO breaking above 33. And once the UFO is able to break above 33, then I believe UFO uh, will push towards the all time highs, which says about 56. Uh, but if I'm putting my bullish bias to the side and uh, being totally honest uh, and being totally honest with you guys, I will not get into UFO if UFO has not yet broken above 33. I definitely need UFO to break above 33 the resistance line that forms the shoulder. I definitely need UFO to break above that uh, for me to turn bullish on UFO, all right? Uh, but now let's look at some indicators. Uh, let's look at the RSI. From the RSI, UFO is looking bullish. The RSI is trending up and the RSI is only at 55. So there's a lot of room for UFO to push higher. Uh, that is if Bitcoin does not dump. If Bitcoin does not dump, uh, then uh, UFO could push even higher. Uh, but let's look at the other indicators. Let's look at the MACD. And uh, from the MACD chart, things are a little bit confusing over here. So the, uh, the RSI is, is showing that UFO is, is bullish, but, the, but then the MACD is showing that UFO is bearish. The MACD line, the blue line is below the signal line, the orange line. So things are a little bit confusing for UFO. So if you are going to get into UFO at the moment, then uh, you better be holding this for the next four years or five years. I will not get into UFO at the moment until UFO breaks above 30, 33. If UFO gets above 33, then UFO will, be, will, will turn bullish and that is when I will get into UFO. Now looking at UFO in the daily time frame, we see that the head and shoulder pattern is much more easier to see. Uh, but I am only going to focus on the indicators since the indicators were a little bit confusing in the, in the lower time frame. Uh, so looking at the RSI in the daily time frame now, we see that the RSI is still trending upwards. Uh, but the RSI has been moving sideways showing that strength has been stagnant for UFO. Uh, so things are, uh, are not yet bearish, uh, but things are definitely concerning for UFO. Uh, looking at the MACD, we see that the MACD line, the blue line is above the signal line. So things are looking bullish in the MACD actually, but I will still maintain uh, my, I, I will still sit back and wait for UFO to break above 33. If UFO breaks above 33, then now get a confirmation that UFO is moving, is turning bullish. But at the moment, momentum is, is actually looking bullish. The momentum is positive. The MACD line is above the signal line. So it looks like uh, we are gaining momentum, but we are moving sideways. So I will wait until UFO gives me the confirmation by breaking above 33. All right, make sure to help our brother out. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. My name is Seth and I make crypto content that makes you more money. So if making more money with cryptos is something you are interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications as well. And let me know which other coin you like for me to cover in the comment section.